wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates up. From Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons, wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then, we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt, and- You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. that. Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? 
Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. 
Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. It's time you learned Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we apparate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a cart at Gringotts. Quickly now! Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Petrificus Totalus. Well done. Oh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. Orders. 
directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? I will draw blood. Are you sure you're not a muck? Goblins have always been antagonistic towards them. But this is different somehow. Revelio. Oh, I'm glad that's over. It looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Lumos. Lumos! An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Someone was an avid reader. Can't say I'm... I wonder who this is. With rules like that... It Rebellion! Lumos. Lumos! Imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Revelio. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Command it to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry. Rebellion! I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted section. Revelio! Impressive. 
That must have done something. Best have a look around. Rebellion. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Rebellion. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. These look familiar. Akio! Rebellion. Easy on me. Glacius! We got your ready, Osa. Akio! Revelio!
here. change on both sides of the archway. Something must be different. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Akio. I'll never get used to these floors. Rebellion.
shield. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Things are definitely different on the other side of the archway. But how?
incendio. What a relief. <laughs> Revelio. Another pensive. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of there.
more crystallized stone. That must be the way. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I should ask Serona at the... Come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. 
friends. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. <laughs> What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. All in the wrist. Merlin's pants. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. That was one for the ages. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested, and that you passed. There we go.
That's it. Revelio. Send you. Revelio. Welcome back. Have you finished? Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Revelio. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much Levioso. as possible. Perhaps Accio. Arresto Momentum. That's it. Keep it up. 